previously on the agency in the district. The victim's name was Daniel Blair. He worked with something called the Alpha Group, a tech guy downtown. Gentlemen, this is Mr. Braxton, head of our corporate security. Uh, we need to know everything that Mr. Laird was working on up until this morning. Just as soon as I see a warrant. I really like Mr. Laird. You let anybody else in here? He had a visitor late last night. Some chick. Lisa Fabrizi. Hi, I'm Detective Temple Page. Who killed him? We were hoping you could help us with that, Mr. Fabrizi. Somebody's bugging us. Jack, I'm not the enemy. I want to help you. Another one. You bugged my office. Why'd you do that? I didn't. Your man Braxton did. He's no longer my man. If I find out you're lying, you're going to need a bigger shield than the CIA to hide me. Now, the only reason Quinn is here is because the president thinks he has value. If I had someone close to him, someone I could count on. Done. I'm a friend of Daniel Laird's. Meet me at the Lincoln Memorial. I'm gonna need that information. That's for me. No, no, no! Take him! I'll get us the car, Braxton! You know you're not doing yourself any good here, Braxton. You got one of those cyanide capsules under your tongue. Now would be a good time to bite down. My client obviously has nothing to say. I'm oh, good. Then I'll do the talking. We know that you killed Daniel Lair. We have the murder weapon, found the gun in your hand. We plead man too, he's out in six. Not for murder, not a chance. What if I roll over on my superiors? Chief, as an employee in the Central Intelligence Agency, my client is a small fish in a very large and murky pond. Now, you want some clarity? He's willing to give it to you for a price. No, I'd like to know who in the CIA ordered the killing of Daniel Lair. I could definitely help you with that, but not without a deal. Until you offer us some guarantees, we've got nothing else to say. You don't suppose he's referring to us, do you? I don't recall telling that son of a bitch to kill anyone. Uh... Director Gage, Mr. Quinn, I think we can handle it from here. The man's lying, Chief. Oh, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. We'll let you know. Police aren't gonna let this go. Let what go? A desperate attempt of at a guilty man to make a deal? If there's anything I should know about this situation, anything at all, this would be a good time to tell me. Braxton stole for himself. He killed for himself. Just a bad apple. Good morning, gentlemen. What do we know about the Elkwood group? So far, not much. Braxton worked there, he was stealing money. We sent Daniel Laird in to look for the thief, and Braxton killed him. Braxton is insinuating that we're involved. What's he said specifically? Give me a deal. How'd the police react? By throwing us out? He'll get down to serious bargaining soon. His bail hearing's today. He's not gonna get bail, is he? I wouldn't give it to him, but I'm not the judge. Well, how much damage can he do? Depends on what he knows. It's blackmail. We can't let him smear us. What's up? You have any ideas on how that might be prevented? Yes, I do. Gage. Braxton was just killed on his way to court. Nice work, Tom. I was in this room with three other people when Braxton was shot. It was Mr. Quinn one of those three? Yeah. So how many people work for the CIA? That's classified. So if I were to call the New York Times and just ask them, what would they tell me? 20,000. Thomas, I need to talk to some of your people, especially the folks at that Elkwood group, that front company you ran. I wasn't running anything. You can talk to anyone you want. 
I'll give the order personally. The order to talk or the order about how much to say? Jack, why don't we just try trusting each other for a while? We both want the same thing, right? We get to the truth? Of course. Your truth or mine? And so the mystery has finally been solved as police have captured the bandit, which turned out to be a capuchin monkey escaped from a zoo in Arlington with a penchant for trouble. What do you guys think of having a monkey on the loose around here? I didn't see him, but I want to. <laughs> this was broadcast last night. Thinking of getting a pet? Forget about the story. Look at the girl, the little one who just spoke. Gory. Faisal Gory's younger daughter. What's she doing there? She goes to school with one of the kids in the building. They were having a play date when the news crew showed up. Not good. All done, Mr. Nankin. What are we watching? Lex, do you remember the plot to blow up Conrad's department store in London? Didn't that star Alec Guinness and... It happened last year, Al-Qaeda. This little girl's father worked at the Syrian embassy. He was chief communications officer. Someone inside was being kept in the loop by the terrorists. And he ratted them out. I remember, we, we brought his family over from Syria in exchange for his information. You guys gave him new identity, relocated him. Right. Only problem is the bad guys know what Gordon's family looks like. What are you going to do? Relocate them. But it's just his kid. What are the odds that anyone's going to actually track him? had it? reports. They are looking for him. We've contacted the people the girl was visiting. They're not going to talk, but we'll need a new identity package for the Gorys. Where are you going? Give Mr. Gory the good news. Are you sure this is necessary? If you don't relocate, you'll be risking the lives of your entire family. The terrorists know me, not my daughters. You don't think they went through your apartment in Syria? They'll have pictures, personal information. This has not been an easy transition, Mr. Nankin. I, we're grateful for what your government has done. But my children miss their home, their friends. I'm their... sorry. I'll have to talk to my wife. I understand. My associate, Ms. Lowell, is driving out to see her this afternoon. She'll be bringing new identity packages for all of you. Come inside. The Elkwood Group's been around since 95. It sells software to banks, it has international clients, it earns a small profit every year. Do we own it? Actually, sir, that's a little vague. It appears to be run by a German corporation that in turn is controlled by a company that's registered in the Dutch Antilles. So we, we own it. It's not on the books as a proprietary, but as a vendor. We've bought from it in the amount of something like $15 million. We spent $15 million on banking software? Are we a bank now? Carl, what the hell does all this mean? We use the Elkwood Group to funnel money that we don't want to be able to be traced back to us. $15 million without our fingerprints on it. Slow day to visit. Yellow, Danny. Yellow, Danny. Hey. My dolly. Mom. Danny. My dolly outside. We'll get it at me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Girls, we'll get it later. Now, will you go to the living room so I can talk to Miss Lowell, OK? Can I show my computer? After. They only speak English now. Sometimes I think they will forget where they come from. Fari, are you aware that your daughter was on the news last night? 
the news? Ah, uh, a local broadcast, but we're afraid that somebody might have seen her. Oh, my goodness. That's why the man called. What man? A reporter. He asked me the silliest questions. He wanted to know if we had capuchin monkeys, too. I didn't know what a capuchin monkey was. What was his name? He didn't say. Did he say what station he was from or where he got your number? No. We're going to need to move you now. Sir. Come on in, Jackson. None of the Elkwood employees are on our books. The agency had no direct control over there. So nobody here knows where the hell they went. You're aware the police determined Braxton was working with Mr. Quinn? Yes. This should have contained Elkwood group files. They're gone. Replaced by a slip. Files removed for destruction December 28, 2001. Authority of acting DCI. Quinn. Sir, this started because Mr. Braxton was stealing money. Quinn isn't motivated by that. He likes what money can buy. Secret operations. Find the money. This Elkwood situation is really heating up. That's why I wanted to talk with you. You've had a challenging time, Lisa. The police have put you through a lot. They're just doing their job. Still, your relationship with uh, Mr. Laird, his death, you must be feeling uh, very lonely right now. Robert. I'm always here for you. You know that. And I appreciate the opportunity to work with you. But oh, as far as anything else, uh, the possibility that, that something might happen between us. Are, are you suggesting that uh, I'm interested in you on a personal level? What, yes. <laughs> My goodness. Well, I mean, uh, I'm flattered, but... Oh. <laughs> but you're not, you're not interested in anything other than, than work? Well, I, I really hadn't thought about it. But uh, now that it's on the table. Oh no no no! It's 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 not on the table. I just wanted to make sure that we're clear about things. If I'm going to be working with you, I have to feel like I can trust you. Of course, Lisa, Mr. Quinn. We've got a little situation uh, up in Northern California that um, needs some attention. Why don't you uh, come to my office later and we'll discuss it. Mr. Callum? Everything okay? Sure. Is he behaving himself? Yeah, 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 he's fine. He, he... Don't say he's harmless. Okay. I'm always here for you. That's what he said. Corey should be there any minute. Have you spoken to him? Not since he left the park. Doesn't he have a cell phone? We're in the country. They don't work out here. <sighs> Am I overreacting? A reporter who doesn't give his name or his employers, no. Call me when you're on the road. I will. So here's our purchase orders to the Elkwood Group. $15 million for computer services. They sell banking software. We're not a bank. Yeah, we know. OK. Elkwood Group expenditures. They paid software developers, traveling salesmen. What about Braxton? Can you see what he stole? It won't be itemized as stolen by Braxton, but he probably set up something that looked legitimate and sent bills to Elkwood. Hardware, consulting. Here's a big item. 
18 million dollars to a special projects fund. Went to a separate bank, separate account, opened by a subsidiary corporation. Run the incorporating officer's names. Okay. One's coming up as a pseudonym used by one of our people. Isn't Lisa Fleming really Lisa Fabrizzi? Lisa, you know her best. What do you think? I don't think she stole 18 million dollars. She was helping Laird investigate the missing money. So she knew what he was involved in. No, I mean, the, 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 I mean, the police tell me that, that she was one of the last people to, to, to see him alive, so. He was murdered by Braxton. Right, then Braxton was killed. She's been through a lot lately. I mean, now that, that you know, she's uh, she's involved with Gwen. So. Did you talk to her about this? Not yet. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming down. Sure. What's up? Lisa, what do you know about the Alquid Group? Oh. Uh. I've already talked to the police three times. We've been asked to investigate it, too. Okay. Whatever you know would be helpful. I don't know much. $18 million, you opened the account. Matt. It was for some operation, right? It was part of the job. I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Specifically, yes, this is there for operations, but Robert didn't tell me what operations. He just asked me to help with the paperwork. Robert, Lisa Fabrizzi opened a bank account that got $18 million from the Elkwood Group. She says you asked her to do it as a favor. Any comment? For whose benefit? Yours or that police chief's? Mine. All right. As you may have heard, this agency often gives money to foreign leaders for goodwill. Naturally, these leaders don't want it known that they're on the CIA payroll, so they're paid circuitously, using bank accounts like Ms. Fabrizi's and organizations like Elkwood. If anyone ever looks into it, all they find is a software company. If they looked today, they'd find a bunch of empty desks. That police chief, who made an excellent impression on him, he thinks you killed Braxton. What would have been the point of killing anyone? To protect yourself. Braxton was offering to serve up the people he worked for. It never would have come to that. Why not? Because the police weren't going to be able to make a case. They'd have needed witnesses from Elkwood. And as you just pointed out, those witnesses have disappeared. You sent them away. Homeland Security. That's obstruction of justice. Moot point, Braxton's dead. My goodness. If you want to throw the police a bone, I suggest you start with Lisa Fabrizi. The man Braxton murdered, Laird, she was sleeping with him. You guys got a softball team too, or is that classified? Sure, we love softball. We play cue ball all the time. So, uh, the chief said you had some questions for us about Lisa Fabrizi. Shouldn't we be asking you? Well, you can ask us anything you want. We just wanted to know whether or not you'd ever considered her as a suspect in Eric Braxton's murder. No. We were working on the Laird case, but she ended up helping us nail Braxton. She helped you? Yeah, apparently she and Laird were close friends. She was motivated. How close? You mean, were they close enough to give her motive to kill the guy who killed Laird? No. That's not what I meant. Hmm. Just asking. Well, he said we could ask a question, and that was a question. <laughs> Wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. What do you have on Braxton's murder? Well, we have dead Marshall, three nine-millimeter slugs, a partial fingerprint on a steering wheel. We also have some of the money that Braxton stole. Two bank accounts, $500,000 in each. Really? What is it? 
What is it, Mr. Hazel? More money went out than went in. Beg your pardon? The Elkwood Group. We were using them as a cutout to secretly disperse money. We gave them $15 million. But Lisa had $18 million in the account that you asked her to set up. Braxton got away with another million. So where'd the extra $4 million come from? Profits? They didn't make that much, but they had access to banking software and to banks. So you think the entire company was stealing? No, I think a CIA stole, with Elkwood's help. The CIA is not a criminal organization, Mr. Hazley. The CIA has been ordered to disrupt the funding of terrorist organizations. And so we used Elkwood to find Osama bin Laden's checking account and cleaned it out. You tell us. All right. Suppose Elkwood did have the capability of poking around in bank records and came up with a shady account or two. And stole the contents. And took an unsecured loan. You deprive the terrorists of their money, you deprive them of their power. Braxton was in on this. He was diverting some of the money for himself. How come you never told anyone before? Because we are watching these people. And if we talk about it to Chief Mannion, it'll probably end up in the police gazette. And the terrorists will pick up their holdings and move to Venezuela. In order to keep the cops from stumbling on us, you sent them after Lisa Fabrizi as a smokescreen. To distract them. Keep them away from an area we didn't want them to go. You smeared her. She'll get over it. She's innocent. At least of murder. Oh, you're a son of a bitch. Yes. But I don't kill people. And I don't waste my time playing detective when we've got our good friends at the police department to do that for us. How do you feel about the fact that Lisa was romantically involved with Laird? We all spill our milk sometimes, Mr. Callan. It's how we clean it up that counts. Will the move be permanent? I'm sorry, but yes. Zada, if you want to get something to eat, bring it now. Also bring some food for Bashar, okay? There's someone out there. Zada? Where's your sister? She went outside to get her doll. Stay here. Tanya? Okay, come on. We're gonna go inside, okay? Come on, get your job. Mama, who is that? And go downstairs. Come on, come on. Hi. Faisal, where did you get the car? What's, what's wrong? I rented it, in case someone is watching us. Hold your hand. 
right here, okay? Do you have a basement? Yes, Where's your it's basement? over there! Zada, Don, you go to the basement, now! Okay, get him up. Let's go nice and slow, it's okay. Let's go. Okay, take it easy now, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. Girls, move down. Move to the bottom of the stairs. Look at me. How's your breathing? I'm all right, all right. Okay. Is there anything right. down here to wrap him with? There's a top on the ladder. Daddy, is the shark dead? Oh. Yes, yes, sweetheart. Everything will be all right. Are you gonna die too? No, honey, he's gonna be okay. Daddy's gonna be fine. I need something to cut this with. Here, take this. Zada? Okay. I need your help, okay? Calm down. Just hold here. They tried to kill him. Okay, now I need you to help oh, no. me wrap him up. Oh, no. okay. They know I've been talking to your government. Oh, they would want to talk to me. Yes. Oh, they'll be coming back. That door is not going to keep them out there. If they wanted to be in here, they would already be in here, okay? When? When will they come? Oh. It's okay. They're not coming out. They'll come after dark. What are we going to do? We have till dark. Mm -hmm. Do any of you know the combination of tonight's yes, storm? Yes. I don't suppose there's a phone down here. No. Do you have matches? Mom. Oh, yes, they're on the work table. Mom. Over there to your left. I'm scared, Mama. We're all here. Yes. And we're all okay, right? It's okay, Tanya. Right here. now, we're gonna take care of your daddy. Could they come in through there? Yes. But we can get out. Quinn's happy Laird's dead. You think he's jealous? I do. Because he's after Lisa. That's a picture I don't want to see. She can take care of herself. Oh, yeah, she's doing a great job so far. A suspect in two murders? What the hell was she doing with Laird in the first place? You jealous, too? No. Are you sure? Just concerned. Same as you. Okay. The good news is Lisa's off the hook in the Braxton case. If that guy was stealing from terrorists, we've just vastly expanded the suspect pool. It could be any one of the groups he was ripping off. Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, IRA. I stole $18 million, had an affair with Danny Laird, and assassinated Braxton. That's one hell of a leave of absence. Nobody believes those things. Well, the affair part's true. So it's just the stolen money and then murder that you're concerned about. Lisa, did Laird tell you that Braxton was stealing money from the bank accounts of terrorist organizations? No. You want to pull some information for us? What am I looking for? Terrorists who had money in any of the banks Elkwood was working for. All right. They happen to have an assassin in D.C. the day Braxton was shot. This could take a while. We're not going anywhere. to doctor soon. How? Is there a flashlight? Go look in the toolbox. Was there enough wire there? Yes, but I need a nine volt battery. There's probably one upstairs. Ready? Yeah.
don't suppose Terry's called you, has she? Why would she call me? All right. It's been hours. You still haven't heard from her? No. How'd you like to see the Virginia countryside?
your people okay? No, Gory's been shot. He needs to get to a hospital. That guy doesn't look too good either. You go. We'll take care of him. This is Joshua Nankin. Come in, please. It's all in there. Proof of who killed Braxton. How'd you put this together so fast? I used to be a manager in counterterrorism, sir. I know the players. Why didn't we know? Quinn did. He just didn't feel like telling anyone. Thank you, Miss Fabrizi. You're welcome. You gonna deliver that to the police yourself? Why not? For once, all my people are in the clear. All right, thank you. He's going to be all right. Good. There's gonna be security with you all night. And as soon as your husband is up and around, we'll get you a safe place. Thank you. Are we going to see you again? Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea, especially now. But, uh, take care of yourself, okay? Braxton was shot by Miguel Vasco, Basque Liberation Army. Braxton was ripping off one of their accounts. Am I supposed to take your word for this? No, it's all in there. Airline ticket for Paris. Vasco caught two hours after Braxton was shot. And fingerprint records, they match the print you found. And there's a picture of him in there. Your people can show it around. Where is he now? Oh, France, Spain, maybe the Middle East. <laughs> we know who did it. Now I got to chase his derriere all over the globe. Chief, welcome to my world. Thank you, Tom. You ever get tired of the CIA stuff? You come work for me? <laughs> I might take you up on that. How they know? Who? The shooters. You know, those Basques? You know, how do they know Braxton stole from them? Who tipped them off, huh? Good question. Robert. Extra key. Under the mat. Not very good homeland security. I'm going to bed. And I'm not staying. I just wanted to thank you, in person, for what you did. You really must have loved the man. I had no idea. Who? Daniel Laird. What are you talking about? Laird's killer, Eric Braxton, was himself killed by a terrorist. Now, how do you suppose this man knew that Braxton was stealing his money? Or, for that matter, when Braxton was being transferred to the courthouse? There's only a small window of vulnerability. Somebody wanted him to be punished. Eye for an eye. I only knew Braxton was stealing money from the terrorists because he told me. I'm very impressed. Laird was a good man. He didn't deserve what happened. And you didn't deserve to lose him. Justice for all. Good night, Ms. Fabrizi. Good night. Me. Quinn just left. 
He thinks I'm his. Whenever you want him, just let me know. <laughs> 